All right, y'all. So what you're seeing right now is a culmination of eight months of just grinding, meditating, talking to God. And finally, he revealed himself by just giving me this to write into my composition notebook. I took it from my composition notebook, threw it on this whiteboard. And for those of you that have been sticking with me since the jump, you already know this whiteboard has been with me since Boston and held on to it just to keep my ideas fresh. And you know what I'm saying? Finally, I was able to see my purpose. I kept on asking God like, yo, what is my purpose, man? What is my purpose? And this is the map to my purpose. All right, this can be yours too, but you have to have the conversation with him, man. You know what I mean? This is what he's given me. And I feel like this is the most easiest, simplest way for me to basically talk to his people, okay? So first off, if you're not into numerology, everything in the, the whole universe is codes, numbers, and words, all right? So get into it, it's in your scriptures, in your Bible as well, okay? So these are the these are God's numbers right here, all right? And each number represents something about God, okay? There is holy, which is the zero, there's one, which is unity, two, separation, three, God, four, earth, five, grace, six, man, seven, completion, eight, abundance, nine, truth. Okay. Um, these is, this is what represents um, God. Now, the reason why nine is the truth is because everything leads back to the truth. Everything adds up to the truth, right? Which is the number nine. That is the number of your creator, basically. Right here to the left of the, of the whiteboard is when you add those numbers up, everything adds up to number nine, right? So you, right, in the beginning are seeking the truth. So zero, holy, right? You're seeking the truth. Then unity plus abundance, that's you becoming the truth. Two plus seven, that's the number of separation plus completion. That is the number of business. That is the number of uh, marriage, contract, right? Two plus seven equals nine. That's your contract with God, okay? Three plus six is be fruitful and multiply. That is multiply your workforce, multiply your children, right? That's God plus man equals multiply, right? So be fruitful and multiply. Four plus five is the number of service. So you have the number of the earth plus, so you have the earth plus uh, grace as you are the gift to the, to the world. So what is your gift to the world? That is your service. That is what is it that you do, okay? And in turn, this is where it flips. Five plus four, the gifts will be given to, the, to you, which means um, the world will be given to you. So that's profits will be given to you. So five plus four equals profits. So man plus God equals taxes. All right. So God got to get his because that's how he uses you to feed his kids. Right. So when you are fruitful, you multiply, you serve, you will then give him like all your energy, all that production is going to be taxed so that it can help feed those that can't feed themselves. And then two, completion plus you, right? That's the, that's the, um, this is also 72. That is the compound interest. That's why it's save. Okay. So now you're saving what you've made after you paid your taxes and that's for you to keep you and you alone, right? Eight plus one. Now abundance is going to be with you. So you went from seeking and becoming. And then when you become, that's when you have abundance, my friend. And then nine plus zero, so that's the truth, plus your holiness, you are actualized at the end of the day. So with your profits down here, you save, you invest the rest, and you basically get you whatever you want, whether that be a home, whether that be anything, basically. All right? And then all of it is centered. This is why I have trust in the middle here. So you have uh, truth. 
right? So trust, right? You got to start with the truth. You have to have resolve in regards to the truth because um, <laughs> people are going to test you. They're going to keep testing the truth, right? So when you start with the truth, you got to have resolve because if you don't have the truth with you, you can't have resolve because without the truth, everything else crumbles. And then you have understand, right? You have to be able to understand, seek first to understand and to be understood. And then service, right? This is you serving the truth, right? You are a, ser you are a servant to the truth. You serve the truth to the world. And at the end, everything takes time. So the truth takes time to, to, for you to be aware of. It's gonna take time, time and attention, having resolve and the face of scrutiny, being dragged through the mud, all that stuff. You see the times that we're living in, right? And then you have to understand, like people are ignorant, people need to understand in order for them to move forward. And not until you understand, then you serve, right? Service, number 45. That's why you have uh, all those evangelicals saying Trump is their savior because he's president at number 45. Subconsciously, you know, 45 is service, right? So shout out to Trump, right? And again, all of that takes time. Let me know if this makes sense, if you uh, have in trouble with any of this, but this is, this is his message to the world right there, right? You seek, become. You have your contract with God, whether it's your, your wife, your business, whatever it is, you have a contract with him. Then you multiply that workforce. You guys use that multiplication to serve the world. You get your profits. You pay your taxes. You save the rest. Abundance. Actualization. All right.